everyone. Welcome to the Gundam Online Expo 2021. My name is Vampy and I will be your host today. I'm so happy to be joined by our amazing panelists to fill you in with a lot of exciting news that we have coming up in the world of Gundam. Please welcome David and Xavier from Bandai Namco Collectibles and Nick from Bandai Namco Entertainment America. Welcome everyone. I'm so right. excited to see you all. Hey. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, you guys have a lot of news for me, right? All oh, yeah. of us. We have a lot of gun so for much news. So much gun for. So much gunplay. Okay, I'd love to hear it. And not just gunplay either. We have so much to talk about. Oh, cool. Well, I am excited for all of the news coming out today that you have for us. Well, thank you so much for the fun chat. Next up, I am so excited to introduce to you the Gundam Battlelog project. Gundam Breaker Battlelog is an ambitious project bringing together the anime, toys, and games division to tell a singular story. All right, we are at one of my favorite parts of the show, which is Gunpla. I am happy that we have the official Bandai Namco Collectibles representatives, David and Xavier here to discuss some exciting news with you. Welcome David and Xavier. I can't wait to hear what news you have for us. Hey Vampy, how's it going? Hey. Oh good, I'm so stoked. Yeah, we got a lot of news going for this uh, upcoming Battlelog project. Let's go ahead, David, tell them what uh, gunplay we have here today. Yeah, of course. So starting with Gundam Helios, which is, you know, the main character's unit, it is the successor to the Gundam Artemis. It's a combination of the Gundam X, the Destiny, and the Freedom Gundam. All their signature weapons and gimmicks are put into one really awesome, good-looking package. Yeah, next up we have the Gundam Barbatoris, which is a combination of the Gundam Barbatos and the Gundam Kimaris Trooper's um, high mobility form from Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. It features a, a twin blade weapon which can combine to form a bow and arrow, which fires Dan Slaves. That's really cool. Uh, we also have the Gundam 00 Command Quant, which is a kit bash of the Command Gundam and the 00 Quant. All the GN weapons from the original design have been repurposed to simulate the Command Gundam's loadout. Great. And then uh, we also have the Gundam Perfect Strike Freedom, which uh, includes a Perfect Striker pack equipment uh, that features all of the original Strike Gundam's low weapon loadout, along with the uh, Strike Freedom's uh, weapons. Uh, the Short Gur and Agni Hyper Impulse Cannon can be combined to form the uh, huge weapon you see here. Yeah, we also have the Gundam Live Lands Heaven, uh, which is a custom Death Side Hell and is its antithesis. Uh, it has the Megasonic Cannon from the Gundam Versago from Gundam X in its chest, and it also has the Zero System Search Eye on its forearms. It also has a really cool energy blade that can be turned into a rod, a lance, and sight configurations. Uh, next up we have the uh, Blazing Gundam, which was uh, created to be a sibling unit to the uh, God Gundam slash Burning Gundam, just like the Rising Gundam was to Shining Gundam. Uh, it has a clear foot part for uh, recreating the uh, Bakunetsu uh, Bakusai Blazing Burning Kick and uh, Beam Tomfas. Uh, it also has a secondary head part for uh, an unmasked version. Yeah, and on top of that, we have a few other ones like the Wing Gundam Zero Sky, the Gundam Astray Red Framing version, the Goof Crimson Custom, and the Gundam Brown Urban Combat type as well. And then finally, we have uh, the U.S. exclusive uh, entry-grade ARC-78-2 U.S. Uh, Gundam American type. Uh, this item is being uh, released uh, this fall, uh, 2021, as an exclusive at Target, uh, and it will be available in stores in a few months. Oh, that is some really exciting news. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get a hold of some, actually. Thank you so much, David and Xavier. Wow, I mean, we still have more news. Can you guys believe that? Um, we actually are going to talk about the games. Next up, we have some really awesome news about Gundam Breaker Battlelog Mobile, right? Yes, uh, Gundam Breaker Battlelog has actually already begun because it's already come to Gundam Breaker Mobile. Part one of the Gundam Breaker Battlelog original Gunpla have actually already arrived within the game. Gundam Helios, Blazing Gundam, and Live Lance Heaven have all already been added to the game, and all three are available right now to pull in capsules. These feature powerful parts that will be a welcome addition to any roster. Notably, the head from Gundam Helios, uh, Blazing Gundam's chest part and Live Lance Heaven's backpack are all phenomenal parts that would be a overall welcome addition to any build. If I can, I would really love to focus for a second on Gundam Helios because, of course, it is the protagonist's new incarnation of their gunplay. 
It is high firepower technique attributes and focuses on a lot of heart traits that boost the power of your EX skills. It is positively impressive with how powerful it can be in the right builds. And I really think you're gonna love it. Now, in addition to these three, part two is actually coming soon, which will of course feature Perfect Strike Freedom Gundam, Double O Command Quant, and Barbatoros. In addition to all of this, our newest chapter of our story mode acts as a direct prologue to the events of Gundam Breaker Battlelog. The story follows Sokai High's AI expert, Ichiho, as he takes the two new Gunpla Club members on a training exercise. This chapter also features prominent characters from Gundam Breaker 3, such as Misa and Mr. Gunpla. So make sure you log in to Gundam Breaker Mobile and complete Chapter 16 so you're ready for when Gundam Breaker Battlelog launches. Wow, that was amazing, Nick. All the Gundam Breaker Battlelog news is crazy. Everything looks great. It is. It's been really exciting uh, since we started this project with the second anniversary of Gundam Breaker Mobile. And I am just really excited to see where it goes from here. Uh, same, same here, Nick. Thank you so much for that. That was a lot of news to take in, but you know what? We have more. I am so excited to share with you today that we have a special interview with Gundam Breaker Battlelog Director, Mr. Masami Obari. He has made this video especially for you, the viewer. So please sit back and enjoy. ね、まず、ま、以前その2年前ですよね。作ったオープニングアニメーション。あ、あの時に作ってる時から、こう本編と言いますか、え、こうキャラクターがちゃんと動いて喋って、ま、芝居してストーリーがあるような作品をぜひ
そうですね今回ですね,あ今回ですねああのまあショートアニメーションの結構短編のシリーズっていうことで、うんまあ、いつもやってるテレビシリーズよりもかなりその枚数を使ったりとか多めに枚数を使ったりあとまあ撮影の,その凝った処理凝った処理といいますかテレビシリーズではできないような撮影処理をしたりするんですよ。まあ、そのですね仕上げさんの段階で、まあ、髪のハイライトとかもそうですし目の交際部分もそうですしあとまあ背景美術もそうですしすごくもう頑張ってくださって美術監督の方がいつもよりもかなりこうマシマシな感じの<笑>高密度な<笑>そうです、ね、背景美術になったりとか撮影監督さんもそうですしもちろん桜監督、うんうん、キャラクターメーカーも頑張ってくださってて。やっぱ通常のテレビシリーズではないできないちょっと贅沢な作りをしてますね、うん、はいまあショートアニメーションで何回も配信するに頼るような内容といいますか、うん、そこをちょっと、はい、監督としても頑張っている部分ではありますまあ絵コンテもそうですねうん、うん、テレビ番組だと無理な絵コンテというか、うん、こんなにやったら大変だよなって部分をあえてやってる部分もありまして、はい、そこもぜひとも注目していればあります、うんそうですね、えー、まさに今絶賛制作中なわけですが<笑>そう皆さんに楽しんでいただけるように頑張って、えー、作っておりますぜひ楽しみにしてください、はいまあ、そしてあれですねやっぱりあのガンプラあっての作品だと思いますのでぜひともこうガンプラを買っていただいて、ね、その組みつつこう、ね、作品にこう思いといいますか走っていただけると非常に嬉しく思いますえー、では最後に、えー、先日公開されました、えー、ガンドブレイカーバトログの PV をご覧くださいどうぞみなさま GB フェスタへようこそ新型バトルシミュレーターでの特別なバトルを心ゆくまでお楽しみくださいあ来た2人とも行くよお俺のガンダムヘリオスがどこまで通用するか早く試したくてさこのやり場のない怒り全部バトルにぶつけてやる何これ動かないなんか嫌な感じがするなさて、とらわれし哀れなガンプラデータ回収してやるとしようカキ参加しろなんだ見るがいいガンダムバルバタウロスこの姿を意図的に発生させたバグを組み込んだかなんだかわかんないけどこんな攻撃一気に片付けるよパーフェクトフルパーストこの匂い立つ戦場浮き足立つ気持ちはわかるこの私の踏み台にしてもらえることを光栄に思うがいい MVP は俺がもらう撃ち抜けヘリオスわー、Thank you so much, Mr. Masami Obari, for that amazing interview! Well, I'm so excited for what's to come for Gundam Breaker Battlelog, the anime. How do you guys feel about everything? David, Xavier, and Nick, do you have anything to say? I'm sure you guys have a lot to say. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm a big fan of Obari's work, especially for、um, all the animation work that he did do、yeah. for the Orphans. So, this is really exciting.、Oh, yeah. Super cool. I can't wait to see what he, what he pulls off with this because, I mean, like I said, IBO was amazing. So I'm sure this will be amazing just as well.、Uh, and, you know, just even beyond IBO,、uh, Mr. Obari was also the director for Gundam Breaker Mobile's opening video. So we already have that relationship with him. It is an absolute honor to continue to work with him. And I am really thrilled to see what he does with Gundam Breaker Battle. Same here. All of you guys are huge fans as well, so, and, and me too. So I'm really excited. But you know what? With all the exclusive Gundam Breaker Battle Log games, Gunpla, and anime, it's just mind blowing. I can't wait for it all. All right, we have more Gundam gaming news for you today. We are now joined by the amazing Nick 
again from Bandai Namco Entertainment America. So what do we have other than Battlelog today to talk about, Nick? Well, let's start off with the thing we've been talking about already, Gundam Breaker Mobile. We had a lot of incredible updates in Gundam Breaker Mobile since last year's Gundam Online Expo, and I'd love to go over a few of my favorites. Uh, first off, we added alterations to the game back in September of last year. Alterations were a new way to upgrade Gunpla that were already added to the game. The altered parts generally had overall improved stats, but could have their stat weights change drastically. A great example of this is a part that may have been more of a generalist part with sort of even stats across the board, may change its overall stat weight to be focused towards melee attack or another stat. Uh, but you're always shown what the alteration is ahead of actually confirming it so you can make the right choice for your build. Some alterations even increase the scale of the part uh, from the original 144 to a 1100 master grade. Ooh. Okay. What about the Master Graves, though? Oh, it's really cool. Um, if you have an actual choice when you upgrade to a, to a Master Grade, if you build a full suit of the 1100 Master Grades, it will actually show up as bigger in the battle. But another option that you have available is we have subparts as well, where you combine two parts to get the best of both worlds. If you combine a Master Grade part, with a um, 144 part, you actually get a bonus boost to stats. So you either get a big boost to your stats or a big gun point on the battlefield. It's really cool. And then my next thing that really happened in September of last year as well is we added custom skins to the game. With this, you could build your own custom skin that shows off the appearance over whatever your normal build is uh, using any parts that are in your collection. The skins uh, will actually provide the EX skill for your gunpla as well, which was really cool because this meant that you could focus your main build on part traits and really boost the power of your gunpla and keep those EX skills on the skin. Oh, that's so awesome, Nick. Do skins affect stats? That is actually a great question. They don't, which is really wonderful because it lets you just focus on the aesthetic of the gunpla that you want for your skins and leave the power to the main build. In addition, you can even combine this with the custom paint feature that already existed to make your gunpla uniquely yours. Next up, in December of last year, we added a new feature called Crews. Crews are groups of players that come together of up to 15 to tackle challenges and fight for ranking on the new Crew leaderboard. In addition, players who are members of Crews get extra rewards when they log in every day and get bonuses when fighting together with their crew members in multi-missions. This is a great way to build community and make friends with fellow builders. More recently though, just last month, we added the mission creation feature. This allows you to build your own levels or challenge the levels that other players have built. You can build your missions using plugs found by playing the game, especially by playing other people's created missions. And since the launch, players are showing their incredible ingenuity with the missions they've created. Oh, that's awesome, Nick. Well, how so, actually? Do you have any examples? I do. Thanks for asking. Some of the players have actually been using the mission creation system to recreate iconic Gundam battles, and others are exploring the mechanics of the game that require different approaches to the way you build your Gunplas and the way you battle. We at the Gundam Breaker mobile team are just delighted by everyone's enthusiasm for the feature. I'm happy to say that we're going to continue to update this feature going forward. Lastly, and this is our most recent addition, we've actually created something for Gundam Breaker mobile outside of Gundam Breaker mobile. We've created the build simulation website as a part of the Gundam Breaker mobile's main website where you can test out build options using every part available in the game. Uh, this will constantly be updated as new parts and pilots are added to the game, of course. And it's great for those theory crafters who want to hyper-optimize their builds, or just anyone else who wants to figure out what parts or AI pilots they want to chase. 
That's so awesome. Is there any other info coming to Gundam Breaker Mobile? Absolutely. Uh, we actually have a new update coming in the near future, which is Gundam Breaker Mobile version 3.1. I'd love to take a moment and just give a preview about what we've got coming to the game. First off, we have chapter 17 of our story mode coming, which is actually going to be a continuation of the Gundam Breaker battle log prologue. Uh, so we might even finally get to see Sana and the rest of the Sokai High crew meet Misa and all the great other great folks from Gun and Breaker 3. Is it going to happen? Are they going to be friends? Enemies? You're just going to have to play and find out. In addition, there's going to be new ways to make your gunplay even stronger. We are going to be adding AI pilot marks to the game. Just like you can add marks to all of your gunplay parts to increase their overall power, you're soon going to be able to do that with your AI pilots as well. Look forward to that. In addition, we're making a huge update to the way PvP works in Gundam Breaker Mobile. The 3v3 arena is now going to be constantly available. And we're adding a league system to make it even more challenging. Ooh, um, how do leagues work actually? That's a great question. Leagues are gonna go from beginner through bronze, silver, and gold, and finally at master league with rankings in all of them. Each week, you can get promoted, demoted, or maintain your league status based on your performance. And in addition, the Arena League is actually where you can earn the materials to get your hands on those AI pilot marks. So it's important that you're playing that 3v3 Arena every day. Last off, and this is really exciting to me, is that we're actually increasing the gear cap for the Gunpla frame parts. What this means is that the torso gear piece is actually going to be able to be upgraded five star quality, and the other parts, which of course is the left arm, right arm, and right leg, are all going to be able to become upgraded to four star quality as well. With this, you can boost your gunpla even stronger, find new heights of power. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! But what about the other games? That is a great question. Let me just hop right in to talk about our next game, Gundam Battle Operation 2. Oh. Favorite. Favorite. <laughs> Gundam Battle Operation 2 is a 6v6 team battle game where pilots pick their favorite mobile suits and fight on realistic battlefields. Whether you're fighting underwater or battling in space, there's a mobile suit for you. You can also enhance your favorite mobile suits so you are stronger than ever when you take down your opponents. And each week, GBO2 releases a new mobile suit, so the game is always new and exciting. GBO2 recently celebrated its third anniversary, and it's all thanks to our wonderful players that the game continues to grow and grow. Here's a look back at the past year for some of our major releases. GBO2 recent updates. Battle Simulator came out in March 2020. Battle Simulator debuted in March 2020, opening up a PvE mode for those who want to play with friends. Practice or just enjoy piloting a mobile suit for a little while without the stress of a PvP match. Battle Simulator includes three different gameplay modes to keep things fun and fresh. Debuting in November 2020, Series Battle is a new option in custom matches to faithfully reenact the Gundam stories you know and love. In a Series Battle, Sorty only with mobile suits from that era, such as the One Year War or De La's Conflict. And one really huge piece of news, January of this year, we officially launched the proper PS5 version of GBO2. And to mark the occasion, we included a full English voiceover to the game. Celebrating three years from GBO2's first launch in Japan, the anniversary celebration lasted a whole month and just concluded. As part of the celebration, we released two heavily requested mobile suits from Char's Counterattack, the new Gundam and Sazabi. All right, this one is for the GBO2 fans. This is an infographic of the top three mobile suits in North America. So let's go over all of North America's favorite mobile suits. First off with the general type. In third place is the Cuba League. Next up, in second place, we have the XS Gundam. And I think, David, you might have a strong feelings about this one, but number one is the Double Zeta Gundam. 
Let's go. That's my favorite Gundam. Yes. Thank you, America, for picking the correct answer. Woo. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm glad somebody's excited. <laughs> Not just David, though. Obviously, everyone. If it's the number one. Including myself. <laughs> All right. And then let's talk about the raid ones next. So in third place, we have the Kubali Mark II. And I believe that's the El Peo Plays one, isn't it? With the coloration there? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Next is my favorite. I'm, I'm very sad to see it's only number two. Is Yakushiki. Gotta love the gold. And in first place is the G3 Gundam. Oh, double bazookas. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> it's a great aesthetic, I'm not gonna lie. Next up, last but certainly not least, are the support type mobile suits. In second place is the gun cannon mass production type. And most interestingly enough, holding both third and first place for having two different variants is Gundam GPO2. Yes. Yes. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <Nightmare>. oh, <man>. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Xavier's really stoked about that one. I think. No. I think David and Xavier are super excited about that uh, one. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's also one of my favorite suits. It's uh, it's Vulcans do stun build up really, really fast, um, and that's probably why a lot of people use it, especially with its uh, monstrous HP shield nice. that soaks up everything. <laughs> oh, that yeah, no, it it's just a big boy. I I love I love the look of GPO2. It's just such a bulky suit, but in all the right ways. But anyway, here it is. These are all the top mobile suits for North America. Kind of awesome. fun, right guys? Yeah, that looks awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm really, really stoked about this list here. Absolutely. But this isn't- <laughs> you are. You are. It's perfect. <laughs> I'm glad you guys love it. Anyway, I actually have something else to show off too. We have a trailer to show off for Gun and Battle Operation 2. Should we take cool. a look at that? All right, guys, we have a special trailer for you from GBO2 to show off today. Let's take a look. We're entering the combat area. Whoever's ready, sortie now. Whoa, uh, my heart almost stopped from those cinematics and the music went perfect. Oh my gosh, what did you guys think? Double Zeta, I think. This is <laughs> Double Zeta, of course, David. <laughs> it, it, it is. Honestly, that is breathtaking. I it, could not, my mind was blown. Oh man. Oh, all the, you know, I gotta say the thing that I love the most was really just some of those little details that came through. The, you know, the spent shells coming out when yeah. the Vulcan fired, the trash can jumping from the sheer force of, of the bubble suit stepping nearby. All of those things just really sell the majesty and the scale of what a mobile suit really is. You explained it perfectly. You took the words out of my mouth, Nick. Um, but I do have a question for you. What's coming to Gundam Battle Operation? Ooh, that is a great question. We have got some huge, big, enormous news coming. 
but nothing I can speak about just yet. Oh, well, hmm. You know what? Well, anything else about games? Absolutely. We've also got some great news about Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost on. For those of you who don't remember, Maxi Boost on is the action packed Gundam 3D arcade battler that launched last year. And it's been an incredible year. So let's look it over by the numbers. So, anyway, just like we did for Gundam Battle Operations 2, we've got an incredible infographic here to show off how our players have gone with our first off with our top five mobile suits for north america starting off at number five with the reborn gundam then in number four we've got fail then in third place is the destiny gundam next up in second place taking that silver is the double o quant full saber and with everyone's favorite Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex is the number one mobile suit that people have been sorting. Then, of course, is the top three stages people have been playing. In third place is Gigafloat from Mobile Suit Gundam Sea Distray. Next up in second place is a classic, the Side 7 from the original Mobile Suit Gundam. And taking the first place is the Sank Kingdom from Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. This is incredible. This was a lot of fun to see, and it's been a lot of fun to play. But that's not all for Extreme vs. Maxi Boost On. We're happy to announce that we're taking part in PlayStation's Open Series tournaments. This will have four weekly qualifier tournaments that anybody can sign up for and will receive exclusive rewards just for taking part. Winners of each week will also win a cash prize and get to take part in the monthly finals for even bigger prizes. All it takes is a PS4, an internet connection, and a copy of Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme vs. Maxi Boost On to take part. Oh my gosh, Nick, that was a lot of awesome news. It's a lot to take in, but I'm super excited for it. But you know what? What's next is really awesome because guess what? We have the question and answer section coming right up. Awesome. Can't wait. We are now excitedly at the question and answer section, which is my favorite section because I have a bunch of questions for our amazing guests today. Um, well, question to both of you, Bandai Namco Entertainment America and Bandai Namco Collectibles. How was it to work together on such a big project? We want to go with Nick first. Ooh, I'll go first. Uh, you know, it's been great. Honestly, everyone on the team is phenomenal. It's really a thrill to be able to come together all of these disparate parts of the Gundam franchise, the toys, the games, the anime, and come together on a single project. It's really been just a thrill. Oh, I bet. How about you, yeah. Xavier? Yeah, the uh, it was great having the Gun Plus section process uh, from the very beginning along with the planned uh, anime and video game just all working together in sync to produce the wonderful content that uh, everyone's about to experience. That's so cool. And David, last but not least. Right. I mean, like for, for me as a, as a lifelong Gundam fan, you know, to be able to bring the two parts of what I love together, you know, the model kits, you know, and the video games together, I think it's really awesome. And I think people are going to really enjoy what we have for them. I really love that all of you guys are actually huge fans and you're working in it. So that's, you know, huge in itself. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. All right, this is a great question next. What is your favorite new battle log Gunpla? Nick, we'll go with you first. You're bringing the difficult questions yeah. today. Oh, this is a tough one. But I guess if I had to go with which one is my favorite, I'm going to have to stay loyal to Breaker Mobile and say Helios. It's the protagonist's Gunpla. It's version 3, and it just feels familiar and fresh all the same. Well, awesome. How about you, Xavier? Uh, my favorite's got to be uh, Live Lance Heaven. It's uh, like the uh, Omega to Death Scythal just because of its naming convention. Also has some really cool um, gimmicks with its Lance. I love it too. Um, also, David, I'm very curious about what you have to say. Yeah, so I mean, my favorite's the Gundam Double O uh, Command Quant. It's 
really cool. I mean, because like it's a it's a really cool military take. You know, obviously with the command Gundam influence on on the double O quant, and I really really like the missile backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I love all your answers because I mean, I could relate. Um, but next question, what is the last, this is a really good one, by the way. Uh, what is the last Gunpla you built, Nick? Okay, it's not complete yet, but I'm currently working on a real grade Mark II Titans. Oh, nice. Mm, nice. Nice, how about you, Xavier? Oh, I just finished one, it's right up here. This is the Nightingale. Oh, amazing, yeah. I love it. And David, of course, you build a lot, a lot, a I, lot. I, I build a lot, yeah. The last one I built is actually, I believe it's right above me. It's the uh, Gundam base version of the uh, Epion, the Master Ooh. Grade. It's uh, super shiny and it was a really fun build. So yeah, there it is, bam. <laughs> <laughs> I love how everybody works um, at, the, at Bandai Namco and they just build as well. So you know they're legit. <laughs> Um, all right, you know what? Uh, questions to Bandai Namco Collectibles. How was it decided what mobile suits were going to be created for the Battlelog project? This is for oh. you, David and Xavier. Oh yeah, this is this is pretty fun for us. Yes. So uh, <laughs> aside from the the Gundam Helios, uh, which was already like pre-planned, like the other uh, characters, they were selected based off um, a combination of uh, sales and polling data. Uh, we then kind of did some fine-tune adjustments for the selection that was eventually sent to Japan for uh, deciding what uh, suits were going to be able to make the cut. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a huge honor, the fact that they, they asked us, you know, like our, our opinions on everything. Uh, you know, it, it took what, a few months, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah a, a back was, and forth, but it yeah. was definitely... Every time a new email came in, it was so exciting. I'm like, they, can't, they, they want us to help! Awesome! Oh, yes, it's very good, <laughs> yes. Wow. I mean, being a fan and being able to do that, it's, it's pretty historical, I would say. Um, did you guys influence uh, the appearance of these names or anything like that? Yeah, so after uh, it was confirmed which suits were going to be selected, they were divided into uh, items that were going to be uh, modified versions of existing Gunpla with new parts and tooling, and then others which were going to be uh, recolor variants. Uh, we had a hand in uh, selecting a number of like the names and the coloring uh, times for these. Do you remember there's like a few ones that you recall from the process last year, David? Yeah, I mean, so there's like, you know, the, the Gundam Astray red frame inversion. That one was really cool that we got a chance to, to help out on. I'm not taking all the credit, but that they picked that name. So that was oh, yeah, pretty you cool. <laughs> you, also, you also helped name the, the GIF variant too, right? Yes, exactly. The, the GIF Crimson Custom, which was really awesome. I mean, the fact that we get to help name these things was amazing. <laughs> yeah, and then for like me personally, the, uh, like, the ground Gundam that was selected, I uh, influenced the color scheme selection by uh, requesting to have uh, the, the Gundam, the origin style, um, kind of red accents throughout the body. Uh, so that those are on there because of, of my suggestions. So it's pretty fun that we had some direct yeah. input on what was going on. Definitely cool. Wow, that is amazing. David and Xavier, I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> well, a lot <laughs> jealous because that's you're building your, your own Gunpla that you helped in. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. How was the US exclusive ARC 70-2 desi uh, designed? Oh, yeah. So uh, when we found out that uh, we were going to be a big thing for uh, um, the U.S., uh, we are super excited. Uh, initially, the concepts that were initially starting around for, uh, they were kind of based loosely on inspiration from like American comic book superhero and popular culture here. However, the initial ones that we got for concept art, they were uh, looked like they might have been a little too cosplay-like. So we submitted our own unique idea for uh, an RX-78-2 variant that was based on how the Gundam Maxter from G Gundam and also other official RX-78-2 Gundams were, were made in the past. Yeah, it was really cool. You know, we got to, you know, uh, open up Photoshop and take a crack at it, which was interesting because we actually hadn't had the actual kit in our hands yet to make the, the variant of. Uh, but, you know, we had tends to, to work on the color scheme and where, what would, you know, what would go where. And then Xavier, you also like actually, you know, made one like, you know, yourself, right? Yeah, I, I had to experiment our colors on actual RX-78 models of different grades, uh, just because oh. the, the entry grade RX-78 that this exclusive was planned for, it physically hadn't been released yet. So we didn't have the ability to actually try it out on what the actual kit was going to be. We had to do our planning based on um, the information that was available at the time. 
uh, and we did a lot of things, including like playing around with the Pantone coloring for the plastic. Uh, we also were deciding on um, a number of things from what was going to be on the shield. Like on right. the shield, originally we had uh, the eagle emblem, which is now on the shoulder. It was originally like a tall geese uh, style yeah. variant first. Some of them were like uh, versions of like United States seals or like um, various organizations in the country. Um, but eventually we decided to have like the flag stripe motif on the shield and then the eagle to be put on the shoulder. The eagle design is pretty unique because we were insistent on having an eagle um, somewhere on it. And uh, what Japan came back with the design for was the number 78 for RX-78. And it is actually an eagle if you look closely at the emblem that's on the shoulder. Wow. That is amazing. I mean, that is extensive work that you guys put in. I know that you guys put a lot of heart and soul into that because you can tell it looks amazing. Um, but we are going to go over to Bandai Namco Entertainment America. But thank you, before I do, uh, D David and Xavier for, for that amazing information. It's kind of mind blowing. I'm like getting my mind blown the whole time because I did not know all of this was happening behind the scenes. <laughs> so Nick, yeah. some new games, how do you handle it? You know, that's a great question. I actually love it because I feel like with all the different games, there's something for everyone. It really is. That's amazing. Uh, actually, Nick, what's something from Gundam Breaker Mobile that you're excited to see in Battlelog? Ooh, I can't wait to see Toma and the protagonist square off against each other in literal 4K. Or oh man, that's going to be awesome. Uh, how do you feel about being part of the Gundam Breaker Battlelog project? You know, I think uh, David said it already, but it really is a dream come true. Getting to see uh, what I've worked on, these characters, these stories, come to a bigger screen, it's mind-blowing. It really is. I'm, I'm sure it is because you see it all come to life. Um, what do you love about each game? Ooh, that's great. Um, I love the frantic, frenetic, action-packed elements of uh, Extreme versus Maxi Boost on. Um, but then I also love how much of a proper mobile suit simulation that Gun and Battle Operation 2 is. I mean, you can even get out and do repairs on your mobile suit uh, when you're not getting shot at. It's really crazy. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, the unbridled creativity of Gun and Breaker Mobile with the custom builds and the new created missions. It really is something special. Yeah, um, a lot of my friends and I are really huge fans of the game and we, we, <laughs> we talk about it often, so amazing work. Um, is there any hints you can give to us about the future of Gundam video games? Ooh, you're making my life difficult here. <laughs> That's what I'm here to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing a great job. Um, let me just say, I can't talk about anything specific right now, okay. but I will say this, get hyped. All right, that's good enough for me. Uh, well, <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? That's probably huge, knowing mm. how amazing Gundam is taking over. Um, how is Gundam going to proceed after Battle Log? Well, that's a great question, and I'll sum it up in a single word, together. I think that we've had an incredible time working together between the toys, the games, and the anime division, and it's really been exciting, and I don't think I want to stop. Oh, that's amazing, Nick. Well, thank you so much for all of those detailed answers for all the questions. I know some of them are hard. I'm so stoked for all of it. How are you all feeling about everything that's happening so far? Uh, double Zeta. <laughs> double Zeta. <laughs> I, I know, David. Double Zeta all the way. I, I saw that, and that that's where my mind has been, and that's where it will, will always I can be. see that. Okay I can definitely that. see that. <laughs> yeah, it was exciting to be part of this. Very excited to be yes. part of uh, this yes, from the beginning. And it was very fun helping to design and contribute ideas for uh, the gun club that's uh, in front of us right now. Definitely. So monumental, you guys. Seriously. You know, I'm just I'm just here for the Helios love. I'm, I really am. <laughs> um, 
it's it's so great it's so much fun i'm a little tired because it's so much news to cover but this is just so exciting i can't help but it's amazing nick mm -hmm. um, but i will say we do have one last thing what is it i have a gift for all north american gun and breaker mobile players courtesy of the gun and breaker mobile team so shortly after this stream all players in the North American version of the game are going to get a four-star part selection ticket oh. and word tag awakening circuit tickets and five attribute awakening circuit tickets. Okay. So keep an eye on your inbox in-game for that shortly after this stream. Oh my gosh. That was a huge bonus, Nick. Yeah. Just dropped the ball yeah. on all of us. <laughs> I saw David and Xander's face. Yeah. They're like, "What?" I'm very excited. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a, part, a part of your choice and what you need, and a lot of, and most of what you'll need to take it to six stars. My goodness. So, uh -huh. I hope right. that all of you at home are, you know, taking this all in. I'm sure all of you are very excited. This exciting Gundam news is just super insane. I'm happy I could be here with all of you to experience it. Well, I want to thank Nick of Bandai Namco Entertainment America and David and Xavier from Bandai Namco Collectibles for being here and giving us a lot to look forward to as Gundam fans. Thank you so much for joining us during Gundam Online Expo 2021. Until next time, I'm Vampy and hope to see you again soon. See you guys. Bye, Ron. Bye. Bye.